January 6th, 1944, after spending more than a year in Swansea, Wales, training and waiting for orders, now the day has finally come. This is the day that would change everything. We are taking part in something historical. We are embarking upon the Great Crusade and together we are marching to victory. We are meeting up with the rest of the 5th US Corps and we will take Normandy. Our target is Omaha Beach, break on DC, between the villages of saint laurent sur mer and Colville-sur-Mer along the French coast. We were met by heavy artillery. They were many more than we had believed them to be. I'm glad I lived through this hell or not. Dead bodies everywhere. Some of us didn't even make it up the boats. I saw men drowning, throwing themselves off their vessels to avoid the bullets, just to be pulled under by their heavy equipment. Those of us that made it to shore had to take cover behind bodies from our fallen friends. Everywhere I look, there is blood, even the ocean is red. We have secured the beaches and more soldiers are coming in with the boats. At Omaha, the casualties were high. We are now moving out to secure the cities around Omaha Beach. We are now moving towards Germany. Love your son, Edward G. Jacobson, Sergeant, U.S. Army. March 10th, 1945. We have now been pushing our way forward and crossed the border to Germany twice. The first two attacks we made failed. We tried both in September and October to seize the city of Metz, but it was heavily guarded by German troops. Our third try was a success, and in November the city was finally ours. Unfortunately, the Germans launched a huge attack around the Ardennes and we were ordered back to assist other divisions in the Battle of the Bulge. We ended up in Niedronven in Luxembourg. I got shot there and had to spend a couple of weeks in a field hospital. We have now crossed the Mossel River and are heading for the much larger Rhine River. I can feel we are close to winning this war. Love, your son. Edward G. Jacobson, Sergeant, U.S. Army.